All right, guys, so the first one's ankle mobilization. The reason why we're doing this right now is because with our ski uh, that act like a cast, we lose a lot of flexibility mobility in our ankle, and that can lead to a lack of speed and an increase in injury. So all we need to do here is improve on that to make sure we're staying safe and healthy. The biggest thing to watch when we're doing this is we want to make sure that our knee tracks over second toe, not the big one on the outside. We want to make sure it tracks on our second toe. Also, we want to make sure that our ankle does not cave in. That is a really bad habit that we have as hockey players, especially us goalies, because of our type of pushes, whether it's a backside push, deep push, shuffle, doesn't matter. Our ankles has a tendency to dive in or curl in or uh, it's called valgus, so inside the knee. Uh, we want to make sure that it stays straight so that if our foot is straight, our ankle is safe, our knee is safe, and our hip is safe. So what we're gonna do, super easy, foot is still on the ground, I'm gonna drive my knee forward as far as I can without lifting the heel, okay, I'm gonna my foot tight and flat, I'm gonna drive it forward, create as much tension as I can on the front, and come back. Okay, I'm gonna repeat on that 10 times. From the side, what it looks like is I'm trying to do, so I'm trying to drive my knee as far as I can without lifting the back of my foot, reach as far as I can forward, okay? This is crucial. Most of you might not be able to pass your toes. That is a sign that you guys are lacking mobility. If your ankle is safe and healthy, you should be able to reach way beyond your toes, and that is completely fine. That's really good for ankle mobility. So back and forth, 10 times, that's our ankle mobilization. 